ever get you far? Did it ever get you far? Did it so she's feeling insecure and so she wants men who are 10 years older. Yes. And those men the strong men are in the army. What are you doing out here? <laughs> Beating women. <laughs> No. I mean, you know the answer, but you want us to give you permission? No. <laughs> this is not a healthy relationship. This is not a healthy way of being. No. And it's not your job to repair this person. He's not oh your Oh my husband. mom! Ooh! And what goes up, baby, must come down. Did it ever get you far? 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 Okay, so I'm talking to a guy who's five years older than me. It's new and I don't know what to expect. What are your pointers? Her girl, it depends. If you are 18, run. No, she's 28. Ah, it's so the guys the same, same age, age. Yeah, that's the same, same age as you. Age, yeah. They're the same age bracket. Yeah. Talk the same things that you usually talk. Yeah. There's and literally new. nothing new. There's nothing new and just be completely you. Yeah. Just be you, girl. Yeah. Yeah, dance with it. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine there's nothing new. There's nothing no. we can add there. No. Yeah. Okay, so my sister in law is always fighting with my house help. So I chose to let my sister-in-law go and remain with my house help. Now my mother-in-law does not talk to me. I work daily, so I chose my help. Because I can't stay at home. Yes. <laughs> your help, your jurisdiction, your rules. your rules. And you can invite or disinvite anybody. So brainity, yeah. your space, you're running, it's a country, darling. Yeah. And you're how long it. has your mother-in-law not been talking to you? I bet it's not even a month. Uh, ah yeah. yeah, yeah. Three in three months, your mother-in-law will speak with you, yeah. and then or three years. Yeah. One day she will speak with you. Mm. But for me, the more crucial question is: mm. Are you speaking with your mother-in-law? Mm. Honor her. Mm. Speak with her and do what needs to be done. Mm. Call. Say, Mama, I was just calling to find out how you're doing today. Yeah. If she does not pick yeah. up, send a message. Send, send a message just yeah. to say hello. And keep it pushing. Do you? You do you, girl. Take back the always, power. Always, do, always you. do you. Don't let other people plan how you're going to operate. Experience in life. life. Yeah. It takes away, you know, Saturn comes to steal, kill, kill. and destroy. Mm. It takes away life in abundance. So do yeah. you. You keep doing do you. Keep doing you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Hello, this is Kit from the future and I just want to pop in here and tell you about our proud proud sponsor MP Shah Hospital. Thank you so much MP Shah for agreeing to partner with me on this video again. So I want to tell you guys about MP Shah. You need to go get your breasts checked guys. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. I have been begging you to go get your breasts checked. Y'all are still sitting at home. I don't know why you're waiting for October to end. This is when the deals are. If you're worried about spending money, now is when to go. At MP Shah Hospital, you're going to get services discounted at 50%. You're going to get a breast ultrasound and pap smear for 3k. You're going to get a breast ultrasound and mammogram for 5,000. A pap smear for 700. If you've not been to a pap smear for 5 years, 10 years, I'm out to eradicate breast cancer. It's a very foolish dream. It's a a naive dream, but I think we can eradicate these things. Check your breasts when you're in the shower. Have somebody check your breath. Like if you feel something abnormal, go get it checked. If you feel pain, if there's a discharge, if there's discoloring, go get it checked. What are you losing if you go get it checked? Guys, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. MPSHA is out to help us. They want to keep our cups full. Check your lemons, guys. And now, back to the video. Right. Yep. Is it okay to tell a parent that is that they're toxic? Why do you need to tell them that they're toxic? <laughs> I don't. You know what? I don't know wow. if it's ever okay to tell somebody. You know you are toxic, and and not because I think it's rude or anything, but it serves no purpose. If somebody is toxic, operate with them like as if they are toxic. Block, report user, <laughs> whatever it is. 
and only or only engage with them when you are let's say giving money or shopping especially with your parent that let's say you take care of in any way shape or form that's the only way you really need to relate but you don't need to ask your toxic mother how she is or how the weather is yeah and then does she understand the word toxic it's yeah. a new word you know that it's a it's, new it's word it's a very new word yeah it's, it's not so a word that trend used for human beings before no it was a, it waste. was for warfare and waste yeah so um the other thing that i would say yeah. around uh, if your parent is toxic mm -hmm unless you have the capacity to coach them from not being to, from being toxic to being to detoxify them mm. you you, they, you would be accusing for what so that you can accuse. you would achieve toxicity so you wouldn't be achieving anything you won't raise both either of you yeah. to any new level yeah yeah so you'd be fueling toxicity because toxicity that one yeah yeah <laughs> yes toxicity. and you could also if if there's somebody who can guide them away like a common pastor mm. that you can go to mm. and speak with and mm. pray with and explain the scenario mm. uh, then they may be able to help that yeah. parent yeah because some parents are horribly toxic yeah, and they know and they are toxic on and purpose. they know on purpose yeah. yeah they eat toxic for breakfast correct lunch and dinner snacks you added that yeah okay so my mother-in-law is accusing me of not calling her but she communicates daily with my husband even knows about his trips uh if you're not calling you're not calling her like i don't get it <laughs> Yeah, you guys. Uh, okay, and uh, is she accusing you? She's she's saying that she's you saying don't, you're, you're, you're not, not calling, calling her. her. Um, yeah. Are you not calling her, or you're calling her, but she's no. saying you're not calling her? No, you're, they're not talking. You're not calling her. Yeah. Call your mother-in-law. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if she she wants to talk to you, call her. Yeah. She wants to talk to you. She wants a relationship with you. There are very many mother-in-laws who don't want a relationship with their daughter-in-laws. Yeah. So you, you're lucky. Call your mother-in-law, talk to her once a week, twice a week. You're not your husband. That's her kid. Yeah. You, you're Johnny come lately, so build, build a relationship with her. Well, I'm a mother-in-law and I'm, I'm going to speak as a mother-in-law. She may not want a relationship with you. She may just want to harass you. Mm. So now this one is also to mother-in-laws. Mm. Can I speak to the mother-in-laws? <laughs> Yes. May I? Mother-in-law, why are you harassing somebody's daughter? Yeah, mother-in-laws also can be in your face too much. Mm. Let that girl grow into a relationship mm. with you. What's that call about? So that she can do what? Mm. Yeah, mm. she doesn't want to call you, she doesn't like you. Mm. Yes, you're not and nice. And it's because of this. Yeah, you're not nice. You're not being nice to her. You're being accusi uh, accusatory. Mm. So stop it mm. yeah just let her alone mm. yeah and if you need to call her see you call and let her just be i think i've said enough i think you have said it thank you mommy yeah, yeah. noted and then could i say one last thing <laughs> yes. okay one last thing about that it has to just do with me <laughs> i love i love people mm. and i i really like communicating with people yes I don't make phone calls. Me neither. I hate it. Yeah, it I don't want to lot. call you to make a small talk. Ah, please. How, how is the weather? So how are you? I've just called to see how you are. Ah, please! I'm in the middle of the supermarket. I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm guilty as accused. I do not call. Yes. Yeah, and uh, you know my children think I'm I'm hard yeah. because I just don't call to say, Mama, how did you wake up? <laughs> I don't do it. I don't come to your bedroom. My child is sleeping, and if they if they were sick last night, mm -hmm. and I just hope that they woke up well. I prayed over them, and I, I when I see them, I will greet them. But I don't. I'm not busy like that. Yeah. So maybe that's who who you are. Yeah. So find uh, find peace with yourself. Yeah. Uh, now I'm speaking to the young girl. Yeah. Find peace with yourself. Mm. But mother-in-law, 
also find peace with you somebody with being yourself. different. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you may come from a family where you speak a lot and mm. you call each other a lot. Mm. But this this girl is not one of those. And it's okay. She there are people who can love you quietly and there are people who can hate, hate you, you and they're around you noisy all the time. Yes. That's right. Okay, hi Kate, what's your take on men and house chores in marriage? Okay, Kate, answer. See, you are the Kate who has been asked. Even your Kate. What? Hi. This is No, gross. even me, I don't even know what that question is. You know, that's why I'm even throwing it to you, because now in this day and age, somebody... Is this... What? In 2021? Somebody has just asked that question. House chores. No, let's go back. Let to, me ask let's you. Go back to, to, let's go back to. No, but but she has to KO. No, just hold on. She has qualified it with the word in marriage, because men do house chores when they're living alone. But in marriage, what is my take? Why? Right, because the donkey came. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So can I answer that? Question? Please answer. Because me, I'm, I'm so triggered. I'm so triggered, I can't, I truly cannot. Okay. One, bring up your son to take on house chores. So that you Two. never ha ever have to ask, ask somebody what they are take on marriage, marriage yeah. on men. Yeah. Then, uh, next, people take on the chores they want to take on. Yeah. So, if, if he takes on house chores, he takes it on. If he doesn't and you're able to live together with that nicely, it is okay. Just do whatever needs to be done. Do you know what Caroline Mutoko said? Mm -hmm. Don't hoard house chores. Don't, don't hoard it. Yeah. Hire three people. <laughs> Hire three people, but... Uh, Four people, do it yourself. Don't hoard, don't hoard. Mm. House chores. That this one is for me. I can't me. I can't let my husband do a busy what? Mm. No. I yeah. So Your my thing is, please, uh, uh, unless you have a Bible scripture. Yeah. <laughs> there's and, a Bible and verse, which, and of which we know there is not. There's none. There's none. There's a Bible verse though that says, it's like a man wiping dishes. A man wiping dishes, so men wipe dishes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. So anyway, the long and the short is, it's okay. Anybody can do anything. Yeah, yeah. That's and right. what does he think of you holding the noodle? Okay, so I'll leave it there. Okay, thanks so much, ma. Um, <laughs> how do I get away from a toxic relationship? Um, worse is he beat me up on Saturday, and I still think of him. Do you know, she have, you ever, have you ever heard the term Stockholm Syndrome? So it was about a prison and... Yeah, I know it. You know it? Yeah. Yeah, so anyway... To say it, yes. Maybe there are people who don't know Maybe. Stockholm. So I think, okay, it came from... It's a syndrome where these, these people are held in a... No, a, a woman was held captive. It was a woman. Yes. So she was held captive, captured by a, a captive man. by a man for many years and abused, raped, beaten. And when she was let go, she missed him because she that was all she knew for such a long time so yeah, she it's a traumatic had, event yes it's a traumatic event so she missed him and she missed that environment she she had fallen in love with him she had fallen in love with her abuser um and yeah so that's that's what happens when you are trying to leave a toxic uh, relationship when you're trying to leave a, an abusive marriage an abusive relationship you feel, you want that person because you feel like that is love because that is the love that you have known for a long time yeah and your brain has you to cope your brain has told you this is love because yeah. nobody can stay in a bad place yeah. knowing this is bad this is bad they have to tell themselves yeah. this is good so that they continue staying there yes because there's a give and take he beats you but he pays for school fees yeah he rapes you but he tells his friends, you're the most beautiful girl. He, you know, yeah. all of these things. So there's a give and take. There's something you get yeah. and you're missing. When you remove yourself from the bad, you also remove yourself from the good. Yeah. 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 So that's just to say um, th this person is a bad person. They beat you. You yeah. don't deserve to be beaten. Yeah. And yes, you can miss them and still not be with them. Yeah. You know, um, a, a woman my age, 
told me once how she got rid of um, a relationship like that. She was getting ready to get married and she, uh, they were living in London and she had met this boy in college, an African woman. And uh, they had a beautiful relationship and one day he slapped her. He hit her or slapped her, whatever he did. And uh, she, uh, after he left the house, she locked the door and stayed in there in her room for three days, crying. And she cried and vomited. <laughs> she, <clears throat> she purged. She purged mm. long mucusy mm. crying mm. for three days because she was getting ready to get married to this person. Mm. She mourned she him. She mourned him. She mourned him. She mourned him. Before she went back to grieving. Mm. And three days later, mm. I mean, this guy kept coming mm. and saying, please open the door. And she said, no, go away. And she, because she was, she was mourning. Busy. She was, she was, she she was, was in mourning. She was in mourning. When she opened the door, she mm. greeted him with a smile. Mm. And he, he was like, I'm so sorry. Mm. She, and she said, it's okay. It's okay, I forgive I, you. I forgive <laughs> you. And he said, so we are good. And she said, no, I'm Absolutely actually done not. with you. Yeah. I have no feeling. We are actually she cried not good. That we, in love. fact, we are not even bad. We are not bad, we are yeah. not good. Yeah. We, are, we are neutral. Yes, we yeah. are. You're somebody <laughs> I used to know. She cried the love away. She mourned it. She mourned him. She, so she took time yeah. to grieve it. Yeah, take time. Take time and grieve it he hits you and he's your boyfriend yes girl get ready for the knife premium tears. that guy is not in the army he is weak he will never go into the military yeah he can only beat women and children and kick dogs okay ma what is your take on going through your husband's phone she has been this person has been there and eh, it's a lot of pressure she can't trust her husband. But then don't trust him. You don't trust him and that's why you've gone through his phone. Yeah. Yeah, because um, my, my husband's phone yeah. is the phone that gets handed to me like this. Yes. For M-Pesa and that's whatever. Right. Mine, mine, too. Message. Mine, mine too. Yeah, so me I go through the phone yeah. because these are our conversations. That's right. Yeah, and when he's going through my phone, I'm not thinking he's looking up anything funny, anything yeah. strange. There is even nothing funny to find. No, there is nothing funny to find. Yeah. Yeah. So, if he's untrustworthy, he's untrustworthy. He's untrustworthy. Yeah. He's untrustworthy. Yeah. Or, he's very trustworthy and you are looking. Yeah. You are looking to find. Now, one time, a friend of mine told me, when you are going through your husband's or your boyfriend's phone, what is the end goal? And if the end goal is to find something, oh after God. you have found something, what are you going to do? So you have to have a clear plan. But the plan cannot just be to go through your husband's phone. That's how futile, plan. how childish, yeah. how a waste of time. Yeah. What are you doing? You're you just enjoy yourself. You're you just enjoy yourself. snooping yeah. for snooping's sake. No, you lynch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, even if even if your husband is somebody who doesn't who would have nothing to hide you mistrusting them is is a sign mm -hmm. and it's a sign of your own distrusting nature I, I, or the a sign of his distrust distrusting like he's not trustworthy that's a sign and it's not a good sign and it's also a sign of girl what are you doing in the background yeah yeah okay. you could you could, you could be yeah you could be yeah you could be uh, having something in the background yes yeah yes. okay so somebody has asked is there any advisable criteria to determine the number of children you want she's torn between two or three kids <laughs> uh, please that's the bad then do you know children is they will come they will come plan what you want yeah. and then but also do you have the money the resources the mental capacity well, with all, the yeah. social to have children one to have two children to mm -hmm. have three children yeah to have how many Ten. children you need uh, do you have yeah and also 
I have you put plans in place because this is something Tawi has drilled in me mm. that I can't not think about it. Have you put plans in place in case you and your husband both die? What will happen to your five children? Yeah, what will happen to your three children? Who will look after them and then do you have to go separate ways because there are too many? Or do you and have you put structures in place for that to happen? Because people are like, me, me, I want ten children, I want ten children, but your next of kin is your childless sister who literally her life will come to a standstill if you both die she will adopt 10 children so or with she no five money. Money homes for 10 children with so you can money. imagine yeah. when your 10 children have yeah. gone separate ways that it's terror yeah yeah okay so this guy says she, he loves me but he does not communicate on me he does not check up check up on me there is no meeting so he loves you how the way no, he like, he was, it's a word he's used to, to wow. hang on to you for some reason. Yeah, He'll send you a wedding card or might not. His friends will send you an Instagram photo of the Ngurario. It's called that, huh? Um, I hold my baby. He's one month. He's one month old. I hold him. For, will holding him for too long spoil him? Everybody tells me to to put him down because atazoe and mikono. He'll get used to being held. First of all, wasn't he held in your body that whole time? So he's already used to being held. <laughs> African baby. African baby. Just hold him. Put him on your back. Wrap, now him, um, wrap him. Hold your baby. African baby. Hold your baby. Is on you. Hold your baby. Time. Hold your baby. Yeah. And as a sleep trainer, I would say hold your baby as much as you want when he's awake. When he's asleep, if you can put him down, yes. put him down. Yes. Yeah. Because but even way. that, mm -hmm. he, he, so that he doesn't have to experience your energy, your whatever it is that you're going through, you can also rest. So he can also learn. When time for sleeping down, I can be put down. He can learn to self soothe from a very young age. Yeah, so that's from a sleep trainer. But other than that, hold your baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. African babies are held all the time. Yeah. You walk into a house and the maid has the baby on their back. They are washing clothes. Or uh, women in the market. They yeah. have the baby Just with hold them. your baby. So wear your baby. It didn't, you know, it didn't harm me. Yeah, it your didn't harm me. Me, I was held. Hold your baby. Here I am. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so somebody is looking for a job desperately. Um, she's always had family help with everything, but now she really needs to look for a job. She's two years unemployed. She has anxiety, depression. Okay. It, because she's looking for a job. She has children. Does she have a baby? She's not said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she just needs to find, find, find the job. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Kate, Anxiety and depression are a very common thing. Yeah. It and this is not to minimize its impact mm. on the individual, mm. but this is to say that in Kenyan society we do not see a therapist just for the joy of seeing a therapist. We should. We must. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen a therapist in years and mm. years on you end. Should, eh? Yeah. Just just you to sit you know, maintenance. Just to sit you take your maintenance. you take your car for a service, not when it's broken down. Yeah, take it for some. Yeah, just the same way you would see yeah. a therapist. Yeah, yeah. I would also recommend maybe w w stop looking for a job and start doing a job, because there are so many people. Remember during the pandemic, yes. um, the people people were laid off. So many people were laid off. Yes. A lot of women took to the streets selling something. Yes, cooking I mandazis. Did. Right, I did. cooking I mandazis, was selling this, selling the other. Yes. A lot of men were depressed because they had no work. Yes. There was work, they were just not doing it. Yes. How do I make my husband stop obsessing over his house, his TV, whenever we have a disagreement? Eh? Girl, why did you... <laughs> oh my, no. That is horrific. Are what you happened? kidding me? Okay, so, me, I'm starting from far. Start from very far. I'm starting from, you went and got married to somebody who has things and part of your relationship had to do with ownership of things. Yeah. And he knew it. He knew he was wooing you with things. things. Are you kidding, mom? So now it's your pain. 
You pay. Hmm? What do you mean? And you, where's your washing machine? Buy a good one, girl. Where, where, where are your things? You can't stop him. Oh he is ba he's a, he's he can't focus on things. things. Yeah, he's yeah. focused on things. He comes from things and you're one of them. That he acquired? Yes. You're one of them. So don't, don't, uh, I mean, discard that thing uh, by, you get things and you call them ours. Yes. Yeah. 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 That thing is sad because people even break their break TVs. Yeah. Because it's so and so steel. Yeah. 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 Something happens with the internet that's breaking your phone. So yeah, women also talk about my pan. This is our yeah. my Sophia. Yeah. Not our Sophia. Yeah. Our bed sheet. Huh? It's yours. Huh? Yours and mine, yours and mine, your towel, my towel. Ah, uh, uh, please. Yeah. yeah. You are, you, are, you know how you're going to stop it? Mm. By saying our for the things that you have. Mm. Because you probably also have my car. Mm. And he has my car. Mm. Uh -huh. Not my car, my car. So start saying our. Start saying our. Start saying our. Okay. Yeah. So when he says it my house, you say our house. Yeah, it, it, it will school him. Mm. Yeah, he will come to the place of our house. But then, mm. you, why are you living in somebody's house? Muhammad mm. Apple, so that you two can go and get, get your a, house to get a house that is yours. If it's a house that he bought, it has to be sold. Go and buy a new house together. together. Good plan. Thank Good you, mommy. I hope you, we answered your question and I hope you enjoyed this advice segment and we shall be back again, right? Of course. We shall be back. For it's sure. lovely speaking with you and it's an honor to be able to serve in this way. Absolutely. And thank to you. serve with you, it's lovely serving with you. I like you, Mama. Mama. I like you, Mama. <laughs> like you, Mama. <laughs> All right, guys, till next time. Bye.